Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington, yeah man, alright, so in today's video I want to talk about something that's kind of, um, I've mentioned this in the past, we've talked about it a little bit, but since this week, the double money event is stunt races and select street races, I wanted to kind of touch bases on this, again, you guys have heard me talk about this a lot, and uh, it's one thing that has led me to kind of stay away from stunt races, and what we're talking about here is curb boosting. And we're talking about the hypocrisy with curb boosting with some of the leaders in the GTA community. And, you know, all that all that nonsense and all that noise. And we'll get into that in a minute. But let's let's talk about what curb boosting is. Now listen, this is not new, okay? I'm not shedding light on anything. Tons of videos have been made about this. The majority of people already know. I know some of you don't know, and this will be new for you. So hopefully you can use this as an example of what not to do, right? Now, I know that's a double-edged sword. People are going to abuse this. But, you know, that just speaks volumes on your character, the type of person you are. So I'm not responsible for that, all right? So what is curb boosting? Curb boosting is, I mean, you could you could call it a glitch. It's more of an exploit in the game. It's just a, uh, a fail on Rockstar's part. It's a faulty mechanic in regard to the way a vehicle operates in this game. And it's been around since about well, GTA 4 or whatever. Let's take the uh, Italia GTO, right? Or going down my top speed test track here. You know, has a great speed of 1 minute and 17 seconds, 0.686, all right? Now, let's curb boost. And I want to show you the difference and why it's such... Um, a, a detriment to racing in the game, all right? And there's a lot of hypocrisy around this. As you see right here, I'm simply, you know, I'm humping the curb. I'm going back and forth. I'm riding the curb uh, left and right. Now, this is uh, very, very prevalent in stunt races because all stunt tracks have this type of curbing with the actual props, right? So you see this all the time with the stunt tracks. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why I prefer doing street races because they don't have this on there. Now, of course, there's bumps and, and things like that on street races, but it's organic. It's natural, right? You don't see people, you know, riding the curb like this, at least not normally, okay? And, you know, in real life, you know, getting the curb on an apex is different than, I mean, you would never see somebody just ride the curb like that in a real race. It just doesn't work. So as you see right here, uh, going down this track, with curb boosting, I pull out a 1 minute 11.514. I'm more than 6 seconds faster when I curb boost. And that is a huge issue with the stunt races. People abuse that. You know, Now, I understand maybe everybody else is doing it, right? So you do it. That's always a great excuse, right? Everybody else is jumping off the cliff, so I'm going to do that too. That's a lot of the hip, the, where the hypocrisy comes in at. People say, oh, Ty, it's in the game, right? So I'm going to use it. That is the worst and lamest excuse I have heard, and you hear that a lot for everything, right? But that's, honestly, that's, it's kind of pathetic, right? So I'm a money grinder, right? You guys all know the professional. He's a money grinder, too. Imagine me and the professional as money grinders. We're legit money grinders, right? But we're like, oh, you know what? The Bogdan glitch is in the game, so we're going to use it. And that's how we're going to get all of our money. It's in the game, so let's use it, right? The orbital cannon glitch good, is in the game, so I'm going to use it, oh, right? Fuck. I you know, a lot of people will talk Christ, mad, bad, you know, crap about the Mark II. I understand that. But at least it is a, a legitimate part of what they've added into the game. You see what I'm saying? So there is a lot of, you know, good and bad that comes from this type of stuff. You know, if, if it benefits them, they're okay with it. But if it's something that they don't like, then they're all up in arms about it, right? So, you know, you have to make a choice. You can't be all in on one part of the aspect. You know, if, if I'm a money grinder, I can't be like, oh, got to play legit on money grinding. But in a race, I'm going to, you know, exploit uh, glitches and, and you know, certain things in the mechanics in the game. You can't do that. You know, if, if you have to be a stand up person either way. Uh, you have to be a stand-up guy no matter what part of the game you're going to be doing here. That's just the right way to go about it. That's the proper way. Now, you can argue this and that, you know, it's in the game, Rockstar's this and that, blah, 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 whatever, okay? It's what you do when nobody is watching. It's what you do when you know you won't get caught that really defines who you are and your character. And you're like, Ty, it's just a game. What are you making a big deal about? Well, this directly translates into your real life. I mean, you'll do the same exact shit in real life as you would do here okay it's the same thing it's just on a, on a totally it's a different scale i understand that 
the same kind of concept, right? So, you know, again, I'm not trying to roast anybody or flame anybody, but I've talked about this before. A lot of people are like, Ty, what are you talking about? What is this? What is that? And I was always hesitant to make a video or talk about it. For one, I know I'll get a lot of heat from this. I'll get all these fanboys coming out defending it. People are like, oh, it's it's the way it is, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's bull crap. That's not the way it is. That's the way you want it to be. You know, because, again, it benefits you. A lot of people don't know about it or they just choose, you know, like me personally. I just don't do it. Now, listen, it is inevitable. You are going to run over a curb every now and again. You're going, you know, street races. There's tons of the, the roads are uneven. You drive over curbs and things like that. But, again, like I said, it's organic. And now you saw on my test track where curb boosting gave me a six second advantage. If that straight away was longer, it would be a eight second, a 10 second. If we're going around a circuit and it's six seconds better on one lap and it's a 10 lap race, I am 60 seconds faster than you because of that. Now, again, I know people are going to see this like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to go get that money, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's, you know, again, do what you're going to do. I know that's going to happen from this video. But, you know, you're part of the problem. You're part of why things are so toxic in the environment because of that kind of attitude. You know, we got to stand up at some point. You know, Rockstar, I, again, you know, I get it. This is part of their mechanics of the game. You know, this is very, very hard to, you know, they can't fix this. It's not something they can, they can really, they've tried. They've, uh, they've adjusted the handling flags in the vehicles, trying to, you know, work shit out and, and get this figured out. And um, they tried it to, you know, do these things. And again, people, you know, hate them for it. I, you know, but they're doing what they can. I'm not trying to defend Rockstar at all. I'm a bit, I've been a very big critic of uh, Rockstar's, you know, practices. But I have to, you know, acknowledge certain things whenever they're there. That's just the way it is. And I've told my crew members when we do crew events, we we're, we're, when we're with crew members, we don't curb boost. We race legit. Now, if you're by yourself and the whole lobby is doing that, you know, I get it. You know. Do what you got to do to be, you know, competitive and, you know, whatever. But at the same time, man, you don't have to do that. So what? You know, it, it, you'll just get into a different lobby. I was racing with these guys in this lobby, you know, and nobody was doing that. And that was really cool. And I appreciated that. We had a good time. You know, if people spun you out, they would be like, hey, my bad. Sorry about that. You know, we were communicating and it was all good. So not everyone's going to do that. But you do have those toxic and what I call race hards, right? They're 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 try hard racers, and uh, it's just you know it adds to the pollution and the toxic in the game. And again, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to do it. Just because I can go around smacking people in the face doesn't mean I should do it. And just because my Mark II oppressor locks onto somebody as I'm flying around doesn't mean I should just indiscriminately throw missiles out everywhere. I mean, let's be real, people. I mean, that, that makes sense, right? I mean, come on. I mean, stick with me here. And listen, uh, <laughs> you know, I've had people claim they're from the competitive racing community. Let me be real clear on this. If you think that for one second exploiting a glitch in the game to give you an advantage puts you into some kind of elite competitive racing category or, you know, genre, you are delusional. Okay, quality racers that have skill need no tricks, gimmicks, exploits to, you know, be successful. They race with their skill, practice, you know, learning the tracks, finding the apex. And it's important to understand that, you know, winning a race by exploiting uh, a defect in the game, you're not a badass. You're not a good racer. You're not, you know, a pro. You know, it's like somebody using a god mode glitch and saying, oh, I'm the man at PvP. Like, what? Are, are you insane, dude? That's the weakest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, oh, I'm the man, but you're <laughs> you're driving around in a god mode van or you got some kind of god mode glitch on. You know, that's another reason why I got out of the whole PvP scene in GTA. It's just not worth it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, that's just kind of you know this is I, I get it i know i'm ranting blah 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 this video should have been over like uh 10 minutes ago i understand i, I apologize it's a longer video i just want to make sure you guys understand where i'm coming from here and you know take it upon yourself you know stand up you know just stand up be uh, uh just, you know do the legit thing be a good gamer you know don't be a piece of crap don't add to that toxic environment and that's what it's all about you know again do you though do you boo boo do whatever you want to do okay I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on this and let you know where I stand on the issue and the topic and, you know, why I, you know, 
don't approve of curb boosting. I wanted to show you what it was all about. Again, you know, please, you know, don't do this. This, this is a part of the problem. It is a toxic thing. It's, it's one of the reasons that has ruined stunt races for a lot of people. So, you know, if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to clarify and to answer those. Thank you so much for coming out of the video and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. You guys stay dangerous, right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.